This is kind of dope. This is the first time I've lined all three of my cars up when they've all been, they all look very good right now. I just want to go ahead and say I'm by no means a professional and I do not claim to be. I tried to watch a lot of these videos when I first started doing like paint and dip and wrap and I just I just wanted to see you know like what's going on what's the difference where should I spend my money and I found that a lot of people just like you know they, they like wraps so they sh on everything else or they like paint so they sh on everything. I honestly I'm, I'm impartial I don't really I like them all I think they're all good for different reasons and honestly the way Instagram and YouTube and stuff is these days you would be led to believe that dip and wrap are kind of like the only or like the best ways to change your color and no one ever really paints their own car at least okay so I'm sure a lot of you guys have or want to or will but it's a lot less popular and I really wanted to bang my head on a wall like 90% of the time I was doing it but I don't know let's get into it I'm gonna get into cost what it costs me to do everything I want to talk about like pricing all that kind of stuff first I want to talk about the job the actual doing of the changing color We'll start with the dip. I've actually dipped this car two times now. Um, I'm pretty familiar with the process. It's very similar to paint. It's just a lot harder to mess this up. So prep work for dip, super easy. Just a wash and then you gotta hit it with a pre-dip spray. Just kind of like a degreaser, make sure everything's off. That's it. Process on actually dipping is very straightforward. It's a lot less spraying than like for something like painting. So when we dipped, we never actually made like a little paint booth. What we did was we just draped off the rest of the garage. We just kind of made sure that there was no overstay was gonna land on all of our tools or anything that was like a value that we don't really want it to get all dirty. There's a bit of work you gotta do. You gotta tape off all the same areas you would tape off if you were painting. You need to tape off like all the door jams, all the body trims, all the headlights, tail lights, that kind of stuff. And then you just kind of spray. Really, the, the spraying doesn't take long. I did the whole thing. It takes you maybe four or five hours hours and as far as cleanup you just rip all the tape off take all your masking down there there's nothing to it wrap is honestly pretty close to prep work as dip uh, you you need to take a little bit more apart like you're gonna want to take off door handles you're gonna want to take off your mirrors you're gonna want to take off anything that you want to wrap fully around or wrap behind nicely it's easier just to kind of take it all apart there is a slight bit more disassembly but at the end of the day you don't have to mask anything off so you kind of save the time taking stuff apart where you would be masking your whole kind of car off. It's essentially the same idea. And then the, 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 the prep is pretty much the same. You just need to wash your car, you need to get it super clean. You need to use like a nice degreaser, make sure that the wrap's actually gonna stick. And again, I'm probably talking in terms that, you know, might not be the best. What's nice about the wrap is the process is actually very straightforward. You just have all your pieces everywhere. As long as you're in a clean environment, you just start laying down a big sheet. Essentially, you just kind of squeegee all the air out and trim around the edges. And it's, it's like placing a big sticker. Like that, that's the best way I feel like I can describe it. Clean up on wrap is by far the easiest. The reason the paint is done the least, I think is more daunting than anything, but it's just, it's a lot more work and people don't like work. People are naturally lazy, they don't wanna do a lot. Prep work is uh, a lot for painting. You need to sand the entire car in any areas that you wanna paint. You need to mask off everything, the whole car, anything that you don't want paint on. And you need to wash the car, give it a degreaser spray. The process is as simple as having all the right tools and then you just, once everything's masked off, it's the same as dipping, essentially. The process is just spraying paint on there. If you can get coverage, you can pretty much make it look good. So you wanna coat the whole car in primer, then you're gonna have to wet sand the entire car because primer goes on really thick, covers everything really nice, but you wanna you know, smooth it all out before you keep going. Then you go back in, you spray your base coat, you spray your pro coat if you have a tri coat, and then you spray your clear, take all your masking off, and then you're done. And then if you want to, something we haven't done with this car yet, you can do a cut and polish. I haven't got to that stage yet. I tried, I didn't really do it properly. I gotta come back and do it again. This is definitely the biggest process, but it, it, you know, that goes hand in hand with the biggest reward. Next up, I wanna talk about the finish. I wanna talk about how this stuff looks when it's done and how long it's really gonna last. Finish on dip, it's okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the sun, but dip kinda is, um, it, it's textury. It, it, it never really feels smooth. You can kinda see like, it looks orange peely, I guess. My, this is also the dirtiest car out of the three, but th it looks a little orange peely. Um, when you feel it, it's not nice and smooth like paint. And there is a clear that you can put over top of dip. However, the clear makes it more ripply. At the end of the day, this also is kind of the dullest car out of these three because I didn't go for the clear because I didn't want it to be extra, extra orange peely. Um, as far as durability, I honestly would say this is the most durable. I, I, and that's just my opinion. I have found dip to be super durable. I have honestly banged my doors off a couple things. You know, Know, and it's okay we've taken some rocks to the hood like I've, I've heard things that should have caused damage and they did so the durability is nice the longevity though this stuff apparently doesn't really get you more than about two or three years it can but the quality of it is really going to deteriorate the wrap 
looks pretty good. It, it actually, it's impressive how much you can get kind of like a nice color, a nice like metallic inside of a wrap. It just, it doesn't feel like paint, but it looks good, especially from like right here that you can see like my door is super reflective. The whole car looks really nice. Durability on wrap though, I'm finding that I haven't drove this car a whole lot and it's already starting to show a little bit. That's just, I guess the way a wrap is. Parts like this, if you guys can see right here, th this is peeling up. I guess it's from constant spray of stuff from the tire. Totally makes sense. Um, and I don't know if that's just the way it was wrapped or what have you, but there's a couple spots like that. You can see another one's like right here where there's just like some edges are peeling. It's not perfect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I'm just showing you guys, like I said, so you guys have an understanding. There's some spots like here, like this just refuses to ever stay down. It, it, if you go over with your finger, you'll see it kind of lay down. Tomorrow it'll be pulled back up. It just refuses to stay where it wants to be. Same with this corner. It's pushed out. You can push it in there right now. It's in the sun. It's nice and warm. Tomorrow, it's gonna peel back out. I would definitely prefer the finish of the wrap over the finish of the dip. And for paint, everybody has a painted car, everybody's car comes painted, everybody should pretty much know what paint is like. It's smooth, you can get super nice finishes. This isn't super nice, but you can get super nice finishes. And it's relatively durable. I mean, everybody's car comes painted. It takes quite, quite the abuse before you really start having noticeable problems with your paint. I mean, if you're gonna do it yourself, you could note something like the durability isn't as high, you can see right here. I was taking the bumper off, I actually already kind of chipped the corner a little bit. Maybe I just messed with it when it was too fresh. Maybe I just didn't put enough paint on. That probably relates to it being me because I've never chipped paint off another bumper taking it off. I want to give you guys a cost because I think this is something that kind of sparks most people's, ooh, that's why I want to do dip, that's why I want to do wrap. Aside from all the other things that I just said, I think a lot of people are just straight to the point, straight to the cost, so I'm just going to give it to you. Assuming you've never dipped a car before, you're gonna have to buy like the gun and the little spray machine that goes with the dip kits. And for the total of the color that you see on the car right now, a medium car kit in this color yellow is 647 US dollars. That's with the gun, with the kit. I would throw on still maybe a couple hundred bucks or maybe 200 bucks more and just materials and supplies and stuff you'll probably go through. I would say at $800, you we did this. This is an $800 look. Now, for the wrap job, I was actually, this, see this is funny. I'm giving you dip your car prices for this because this is kind of like the main go-to for dip your car. You can pay someone to do the dip. You can pay someone to do the dip, it's gonna cost you almost pretty much what it's gonna cost you to get your car wrapped. Now there's just, there's a lot of different brands and that's the thing with the wrap. There is so many options, so many brands and like the one that you that I have on there that's apparently supposed to be wax and it has a little air pockets to get it out. You get the cheaper stuff, an approximate wrap on a car is about three thousand dollars now if you have a wide body or you have a little bit more that's you know a little bit more intimate to to wrap it's going to maybe be around four thousand dollars i think i just went from us to canadian too i'll, I'll convert it for you personally i got quoted about a thousand bucks for materials to wrap this myself i went to like three different guys shops whatever and i was like hey i want to wrap my car this is what it is how much for the materials and other than like a razor blade and a heat gun you don't need very many more tools for this it's a different story. There's a lot of variables with paint. See, you if you know, if your dad or your, your friends have a compressor, you don't need to buy that. If you know someone who has a paint gun or will let you borrow one from their work or their shop or whatever, you don't need to buy that. Um, in my position, I bought everything, but just know that like you could make it happen. For example, Brad's about 500 bucks in his paint job in the paint. And at the end of the day, it's probably gonna cost Brad about $1,000 to paint his car. He found a guy that I don't know exactly how this guy managed to get a bunch of paint, whether he worked at the paint shop or whatever. He found a guy online that was selling some paint. He bought the primer and the clear coat from the store and he spent total 500 bucks on just the paint and then like I said, you need the materials. But, and, but that's not like rare, like a lot of guys will sell paint or get paint made and then they don't want it or who knows. For me to prime this car, paint the base white, paint the pearl and paint the clear, not accounting for the fact that I completely butchered the white and I had to go buy a whole nother gallon of a different white. $687. Right away, if you can find someone with the, the, the tools that you need to get this done, Brad's in around 500 bucks, I'm at 687, don't be afraid to ask. Your paint job is the same thousand dollars that this'll cost you and this'll cost you. Just doesn't make sense why I didn't do this sooner. Problem for me was I spent just over a thousand US dollars for the compressor and the other parts like water trap and that kind of stuff. Um, and then a couple more trips totaled in around 300 bucks just me going in and out getting supplies. Just under the $3,000 mark to paint this car, half of that three is literally just the compressor. And another 600 was brand new guns because you need a primer and a clear and color guns. You need two separate ones. I thought that was cool because I think most people just assume that you know this is the, the cheapest 
this is, you know, it's pretty expensive for a wrap, and this is like, oh, you can't place them on a paint car. Paint, you can get a paint job ranging from, you know, the guy you know down the road that just wants to cover the materials, or you can pay 10 grand for a paint job. Like, you can get the most insane paint that there is. However, if you're like me and you're gonna try and tackle these things yourself, you have any friends or people you can use, this bee just landed on my car, it's a little wasp, right when I was about to speak. What are you doing, bro? Are you mating with, get, the wrap's gonna have to come off one day. It won't last forever. Same with the dip. The wrap will last a little bit longer than dip. But they're both temporary solutions. Paint is more permanent. So to sum everything up here, we're gonna start with ease. Extremely easy. It's a little bit harder to lay wrap. Paint is an absolute <laughs> to do. It's, it, it honestly, it's a lot of work. So it's the by far the hardest, the least easy. Final product for dip, you get kind of more of a dull finish. Nice vibrant color choices though and it'll last you a couple years. Wrap looks fantastic. People have pulled up and asked me if this is a custom paint job. Like, it, it, it looks really good. It is still a temporary solution, um, but the finish, I think, aside from any little imperfections that, of course, any three of these things are gonna have, I'd say it's pretty good. Paint, assuming that you can hit the car with paint and put a little bit of time <laughs> into giving it a sand or a buff or whatever the hell needs to happen. Final product on paint is just, just 10 out of 10. It'll last you a lifetime assuming you, you did it right. And the one that everybody loves, so many variables for all this stuff. Like I said, this is just my personal opinion, but the cost, basically the same. Virtually the same on all three. Uh, dip's gonna be a little bit less always. Wrap, if you wanna tackle it yourself, is very much the same as paint. Paying to get them done, it's again, that's too variable because like you can pay less and have a shitty job. You can pay more, have an amazing job. Hopefully it helps some of you guys that are in a position where you're trying to decide which one you want to do that's all i got for you guys i hope this helps some people i will catch you guys next time peace out and stay committed this guy leaves here every day and he just stomps on it Yep, there it is.